Welcome to another Clemmy tutorial video. On this occasion I'd love to talk to you about our new members interface. We've been working really hard on this and uh, we hope it enables you to stay on top of the admin and information on all your members at church better. So here I am at the home page of our test installation. If I click here on members, I come to our standard members home page. Uh, now, um, uh, this uh, interface here uh, is uh, pretty straightforward, hopefully uh, it interprets itself, but a number of changes have been made that I think I'd like to point out, uh, you, that might be useful to point out. So the first thing to say is uh, that uh, the members are contained in this uh, box here. Uh, you can scroll down, and as you scroll down, you'll see uh, that the number of records that are loaded increases. Um, and you know right from the beginning that there are 831 records that match your particular um, uh, search terms, uh, but they load as you go on. We've tried to make it uh, so that that loading is efficient and quick, so that you are able to very quickly see uh, the records that you want to be seeing, uh, and you don't spend a long time uh, delaying and waiting uh, for the records that um, uh, you need. Now, uh, the big changes here are to do with columns. You'll notice that here we've got a number of different columns already. Uh, the status, are they an active member or are they archived? The title, the first name, the last name, the email. These columns are saved in the memory uh, of your browser. So if you change them, they will, be, they will stay, they will be constant. Uh, uh, on your computer when you come back to it, when you shut down your browser or open it again. Now how do we change them? Well, uh, the column chooser. The column chooser allows you to choose uh, columns, obviously. You can delete columns from your existing collection here uh, and then you can add them. Uh, let's say, let's add the date of birth. Uh, let's take away type, uh, status and title. Uh, once you're finished, close that down and every time you come back to this page now these are the three columns that you're going to see. Uh, the columns, column headings are orderable uh, so if I click on date of birth uh, you'll see that it works hard uh, thinking about um, uh, what order, how to order those people and it gives us the records in order of date of birth. Um, if we want to include archived uh, members, we simply click on this button here and uh, that will include not only the current members but also a great deal more as well and you can see them in grey here. So we've seen how you um, change which columns you've got. The column chooser, chooser also allows you to uh, reorder the columns. Um, you hover over uh, that section and uh, that allows you to do so. Um, you can, as before, click on edit to go and uh, view that particular user, uh, user's full record. Uh, you can also um, use this intelligent search box here uh, for uh, finding um, members under specific categories and specific queries. Do look out for videos coming up that will take you into more detail on that. So that's our new members interface.